So today we're gonna be shooting the 380 versus the um, 9 millimeter. The 380 is from uh, Underwood Ammo. It's a 90 grain. I thought I had the same thing from uh, Underwood for hollow point, but I didn't. So I grabbed the Hornady hollow point. I don't know how many grains this is, but I will leave it in the description. I'll check it up later. Anyway, we're gonna be shooting the sheet metal. These are 24 gauge sheet metal. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so for the nine millimeter, we're gonna use a Glock 43. This is a single stack. A lot of people use this for concealed carry. And of course, I chose the hollow point because a lot of people carry hollow point for concealed carry. It does more of a damage, better stopping power, okay? But again, we're doing penetration test. I should have used the full metal jacket, but I didn't. I just figured I'll use a hollow point. And yeah, that's it. Let's shoot it, see what happens. Clear. So the nine millimeter went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It hit the eighth one. It made a little ding and it stopped. For the 380, I'm gonna use a Glock 42. And some of you guys are wondering how I'm getting Glock 42 and 43 in California. I will make a video on how I get these. And for the rest of you guys, you're probably wondering what kind of weird question is that? Why can't you get these two in California? It's a long story, I don't wanna make this video long, but I'll make a video on just that. And uh, hopefully you guys can get, this, get them too. There's a little loophole. Um, a lot of people also use this for concealed carry. And we're gonna shoot these from Underwood Ammo. Thanks for sending them over. These are, like I said, 90 grain. I checked the box before I brought them out. Clear. Okay. No sign of the bullet. Oh no, there it is. Saw it. Uh, where it is? Ah. There it is, that's the 380. Right over there. And let's see what happened here. So it went through one, two, three, four, five, six. And it almost made a hole on the sixth one, right over there. But it didn't have enough power to go forward. So if you look at this, the nine millimeter went through, the, it stopped on the eighth, and the 380 stopped on the sixth, which is not super bad. I guess they're almost alike, but the nine millimeter, of course, went through more, two more. Okay, so there you have it for the sheet metal test. I hope you guys enjoyed this test. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.